first time we heard Nina sing, we were in uh, Silver Dollar City, and it was raining down. We had ponchos on, and we were sitting there in this little hut theater, and, you know, out in the open. And we looked at each other and said, well, she's not going to sing. There's just two of us here. <laughs> <laughs> there was a little overhang that was just, uh, and I think the water dripped off her nose probably. <laughs> but she sang her whole production, for Reggie and I. And by the time she ended, it had doubled in size. There were four of us. <laughs> and that included Teresa, her mother. <laughs> trying to still do the folk songs, but kind of come across the table to all the young folks and uh, get them interested in the cultural music. Uh, so there's, the band was called Steel Ice Band. I have no idea where that comes from, but it sounds very cool. And they had this song called All Around My Hat. And what they did was they took two different folk songs and blended them together. So there's one called Farewell He, and the other one's called All Around My Hat. It's about a girl who loves a guy who isn't worthy of her, but she's smart enough to realize it. <laughs> All right, here goes. All around. 
Drove on the uh, wrong side of the road, on the wrong side of the car, and here's a funny little story. We were trying to get, what? Go tell, go tell. <laughs> we're going to tell you a very embarrassing American moment that we had. We were heading to a grocery store called Lidl's, L-I-D apostrophe L. It's a bit like an Aldi's if you've ever been to one. And uh, we saw it on the right-hand side of the road, and the right-hand side is a big no-no over there. And, uh, but mom's brain went on American autopilot and I saw her make that turn. We had tried to get to this grocery store several times. We've gone through the town. We've never found the opening to get to the store. So it had to be a right hand turn, of course. Well, she goes on autopilot and she starts taking that right, right into a funeral procession. <laughs> right into the head car of the hearse. And they had, it was beautiful. It was glass. You could see right in. You could see the casket and the family member sitting with the casket. <laughs> and so I was on the left-hand side, so I'm the one who got the look. <laughs> and the look was this. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> and so we started sharing the story and trying to figure out, you know, whether we had done something really terrible or not, because we were hanging our heads. Mom figured out how to get off on the curb, and nobody died twice. Uh, and that's what we were told by a storyteller. He was like, you know, you you really probably did them a favor. You, they like to have a little bit of levity at their funerals. So they'll say things like, he was a really great guy, but boy, was he ugly. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's how they do things in Ireland. Everything has a dash of humor to it. So I'm going to do a song uh, that I think some of y'all may know. It's called I'll Tell Me Ma. And it's about a, a girl, I guess she's probably going off to college, and she's got lots of suitors, and if she's going to pick one of them, but she's not going to tell her ma which one. All right. If you know this one, sing it along. Well, 
that is a fun one, and I, I'd like to uh, share this one with you, too. I'm going to do, do that one, Wearing the Britches. It's, it's a weird one. I'm, I'm going to do this. Um, I'll do this song. I call it an Irish blues, and then I'm going to do a blues after it that's more of an American blues. But this does require some tuning, so hang on just a second. Uh, this song I picked up by an artist named Paul Brady. It's an old Irish folk song. And here we go. We go up, which means we're going to have to come down later. And I'm tuning to E minor. It's a little bit of a serious song, but it's got some very good advice in it. Be careful who you marry. <laughs> so it's about a guy who loves a girl who isn't worthy of him, but he picked her, so I mean, it's kind of his fault. Oh, come all you need me, if you be, and listen to my lamentation. I courted a girl beyond compare, and I loved her with admiration. At length in time she became my wife, tis not for beauty, but for riches. And all the time it causes strife to see which of us will wear the britches. My name behind it is five foot eleven. And my wife is nearly not so big, she only measures four foot seven. The hedges I have all time stripped and left them bare of rose and sweet chairs. Her skin melts me, she arrived her in black, but still she says she'll wear my britches. Trade at cutting out, I am quite handy. But you're all the money that I make, she lays it out on pay and brandy. Now sometimes I do show them more as I go hopping on my crutches. I reach down, broke her collar, broke the bed, let her wear my britches. So come all you men, marry her you be. Don't marry a wife if she's enchanting. For if you do, you'll be like me. With other men, she'll go galanting. Now my advice it is to you, marry her love and worth for riches. And be sure of a wife with a civil tongue, you'll give me to wear your riches. So what's uh, gone, actually I think I tuned these things up, they have to go back down. So I'll do
introduce you to another song. So we've had a request for a Nina Ritchie song. Sometimes I don't do my own songs. Uh, but this one I wrote when I was living in North Georgia. Oh, actually, I told you, I promised you I was going to do when there was a blues, and I will. Um, I'll save that one for a little later. All right, so this is a blues song I wrote. It's called Mama Don't Tell Me Lies. So if you have an honest mama, you can consider yourself a very fortunate person. I have a brutally honest mama, and... Sometimes it hurts, but I'm very thankful for her. <laughs> trunk over there. I'm, I'm selling them tonight. And I have another album. It's called Fare Thee Well, a Joan Baez tribute. Joan happens to be one of my favorite folk singers and really my favorite folk singer. So uh, when she was um, she was a, going to be retiring a few years ago, it was her 60th year in music. So I wanted to tribute her with an album uh, based on her first uh, big release, her self-titled Joan Baez album. So uh, both of those are over there. And uh, I will uh, cue up another Nina Ricci song. And this one is the one I was uh, about to tell you about. It was written in the hills of uh, North Georgia a few years ago. 
It's called Bird on the String. I wrote it uh, when I was about to go back to Nashville. I knew that I was going to be having to play at some of those open mics and writers nights. So I started thinking about what I might write about. And I thought, what's more Nashville than the classic cheating song? <laughs> it's true. But I thought, I'll compose something that has the potential for a positive outcome. So the song is about a true wife, her untrue husband, and her creative way of bringing back her wandering love. And I like to tell people a little bit more of the background because the lyrics come fast. All the story's there, but they'll go by really fast. So uh, she finds out that um, he may not be true to her, but she wants to hopefully win him back. So what she does is she sends him out into the hills to think about what he may really want in life. And she packs him a sack with all of the things he'll need for his journey. And in the top of the sack, she puts a homing pigeon. And homing pigeons know their way back home, and that's exactly where she wants it. So tied to the, the bird's foot is a string, and at the end of the string is his wedding ring. So now you have a background, the bird on a string. your mind when I set the table. Life we made isn't good enough for you. Said you're leaving me for a girl in the mountains and I might say you change what you do, oh honey. Nothing will change what you do. Well, I've been a true wife and I'll carry you through. There's a few things you should show me on the road. I'll pack something to eat and a picture of me. And I'll wait each night until you come home. Oh, honey, I'll wait for you till you come home. At the top of your stack, there's a bird on a string. And tied to the end, it's your golden ring. On the maps across the land, I'm worth as much as a bird in the hand. Take a homing pigeon with you when you go. You'll be halfway on top of Seminole Ridge. When you look to see just what I packed for you. If you're gonna be cheating, there's no sense in starving too. There's nothing there to get you back home. Oh, honey, I'll take you back when you come home. Top of your sack, there is a bird on a string, and tied to the end is your golden ring. All the maps across the land are worth as much as a bird in the hand. Take a homing pigeon with you when you go. Guide you like a beacon on the water. Her arms reach out like the last stretch toward home. She's a fragile mystery, but we've got the history to fight like a rainstorm and love and like a call. In the top of your sack, there is a bird on a spring and tied to the end. It's your golden ring. On the maps across the land, I'm worth as much as a bird in the hand. To the homing pigeon with you when you go. Whoa, whoa. To the homing pigeon with you when you go. In the top of the sack, there's a bird on a string hand. Tied to the end, it's your golden rain. All the maps across the land aren't worth as much as a bird in the hand. Take a homing pigeon with you when you go. The homie pigeon me if you when you go. All right, I'm gonna do another ballad, and this one is also an Irish song. And uh, I got to go through Dublin, I got to drive, well, ride through Dublin, and it's really kind of neat because when you're on the left-hand side, you're, you're on Oceanside, 
and they actually do have little palm trees there, and they're the weirdest thing you've ever seen. They, they look like a poor little shriveled up palm tree that came from Florida, <laughs> and they didn't, they're not doing too well over there in the, the uh, Irish mist. Um, but it's very beautiful there, and uh, the streets are very narrow, and <laughs> we almost had a close call there too, didn't we? And we left there kind of thinking, yes, we are Yanks. We are Yanks. That's what they call us there. Everybody, doesn't matter where you're from, if you're from America, you are called a Yank. <laughs> and I asked them, are, are we called Yanks? And they were like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> they were very polite. They're very nice there. Well, this song was uh, uh, kind of picked up, different pieces of it, in Dublin. And the Dubliners, if you've ever heard of that, that Irish singing group, uh, they wrote this song based on all of the lyrics that were kind of circulating in the streets of Dublin. It's called My Boy Willie. Uh, it's about a girl who's, um, whose fella goes out to sea as a soldier and she's looking for him. It's a sad song, but very beautiful.
I'm going to do a song that I, I, th I find this one very interesting for several different reasons. Uh, it's called Donna Donna. If you're a folk music fan at all, this is a very popular song. Uh, it mostly came out of New York. Uh, a lot of the um, Jewish folk singers, there, there were people who were Jewish, who were, all kinds of people were involved in folk music, but they, uh, they knew this song from Yiddish theater, and I had no idea what Yiddish theater was. Uh, but I was traveling down in Florida, in South Florida, and I was going to some folk song circles, and those people are from New York, and a lot of them are Jewish people. So they were explaining to me about Yiddish theater. It was a bit like vaudeville, and, but it was all in Yiddish. And when I was in college, I had to have a, a foreign language song, and uh, I thought, I don't know how I knew that this had been a Yiddish theater song, because I learned it in English to start with. But I thought, I'm going to learn this song in Yiddish. It's a foreign language, and I already know the song, so I'm kind of like a little bit ahead on it. So uh, uh, Berkeley was actually very happy that I was singing this song. Uh, a lot of people kn knew it up there because they were just in that region where this was a popular song. And whenever I sing this out, uh, depending on what region I'm in, I'll get somebody who's like from Michigan or some uh, northern states, and they'll say, Yes, when I was a kid, I, I sang this around the campfire at a, a, at a girls' camp. And so it's very interesting to find those people. They know the words to it. So I'm going to do a little bit in Yiddish, but since you're not going to know what I'm saying, I will also do it in English. So it goes, We can be an elite, dash family, late to get bones and we dash three. Hoi can be an elite, dash family, freizig, freizig, he and we I always hope there's no Yiddish speaking people because I don't know how badly I'm butchering it. <laughs> I have a friend who, um, he knows some Yiddish, he is from New York and he's Jewish too and so I said, how am I doing? How am I doing on my Yiddish? And he's like, mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> very good. <laughs> and uh, well anyway, so Donna Donna is about a calf on the way to market and the conversation, it is a talking calf that it has with its farmer. All right, here we go. Market, there's a calf with a mournful eye. High above him, there's a swallow winging swiftly through the sky. How oh, the winds are laughing, they laugh with all their mind. Love the laugh the whole day through, and half the summer's night. Dona, dona, dona. Are easily bound and slaughtered, never knowing the reason why. But whoever treasures freedom, like the swallow, has learned to fly. How oh, the winds are laughing, they laugh with all their mind. Love and laugh the whole day through, and half the summer's night. And half the summer's night. 
share with you and this one is a fun one it's called all the crown jewels I wrote it about my aunt Margaret who lives in Georgia and uh, in 2019 when I first set out on the road it was my first time touring and uh, we decided to keep it a little close to home and I, I kind of booked things in that area so I could stay with family and uh, then we went off to Gatlinburg and it kind of snowballed from there and we started uh, traveling out a little bit further and further each time so we've gotten as uh, far west as North Dakota and as far east as Ireland now. So, <laughs> so when I walked in the front door of her house, she was thinking of activities that we could do together as aunt and niece. And uh, she said immediately, I want to show you my jewelry collection. And as a niece who likes sparkly things, thanks, thanks mom for the dress. Uh, I was game for that, but I was also a songwriter, so I thought to myself, she's going to show me all the crown jewels. <laughs> I've started to realize that in other parts of the world, that means a very different thing. If you're in England, then it's, you're talking about the Queen's jewelry. So if you're in Ireland, they don't like that. They don't want to talk about the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, I sang this one in Ireland, and they seem to like it. And I like to tell my aunt she's getting more and more famous because I sing it everywhere I go. This one is a good one to end the night on, I think. All right, here we go. All the crown jewels, all the crown jewels, Margaret said she'd show me. All the crown jewels and my glass loop well, magnify the light, and I can't wait till I get the glitter in my eyes, glitter in my eyes. Is glitter in my eyes. Margaret's got leather covered snake skin trunk. She told me to appraise and throw away the junk. It's hard to see the diamonds, they're all mixed in with the custom costume brooches and the riff raff shims. All the crown jewels, all the crown jewels, Margaret said she'd show me. All the crown jewels and my glass blue girl, magnify the light, and I can't wait till I get the glitter in my eyes, glitter in my eyes, glitter in my eyes. Margin and a genie and the facets of a gem And I roll under their enchantment I don't need to steal, cause I eat with my eyes They're filled to the brim with a little flicker line All the crown jewels, all the crown jewels Margaret said she'd show me All the crown jewels and my glass loop will magnify the light And I can't wait till I get the glitter in my eyes Glitter in my eyes, glitter in my Polish ring, it's porcelain white, just a little crack vein. 
Don't have a glitter, no, I don't have a sparkle. But I got a fancy for it and I dream it in the dark. Oh, got a fancy for it and I wear it in my dreams. Got a fancy for it and I dream it in the dark. All the crown jewels, all the crown jewels, my and says you show me. All the crown jewels and I glass lose well. Thank you, my Lord, and I can't wait till I get the glitter in my eyes. Glitter in my eyes, glitter in my eyes, glitter in my eyes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Carl Singer. It was wonderful to be here at Singer Hill. And if you'd like to hear more, come to Good Shepherd Nursing Home, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Promise, I'll help you get back out. some of this and maybe some other music to mm -hmm. the residents of the Good Shepherd Nursing Home and we will give Ken and Lila your best. I'm sure you know mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Thank you for coming tonight. I hesitate to point out people, but those of you who are coming for the first time, come back again. We do this about every month. Next time will be the second Tuesday of April and I have more Irish music for you with the McLeod Nine from uh, Dallas, Texas and they are, I believe they're touring Ireland as we are here tonight because they've got a tour uh, scheduled and they'll be with us next month. And the whole, uh, I guess if you're looking on the back of your uh, flyer, I'm sure, and seeing that the next year is pretty well scheduled in. And Paul Abiati has already said he wants that seat over there for the program. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Thanks for coming tonight, Dale. Good to see you back. Great to be here. And uh, Bobby, Kenny, come back again. Bring a few with you next time. And if you'd like to take some of my music home with you, there are CDs there out there, is. and I love signing CDs, so I'll make one out to you. And Brad Turner, thank you so much. Enjoy having you with us again. Yeah. Good night. Thank you.